Hey guys, it's Numistaka here, and this is a box of medals from China. I haven't had one of these in the office for a while. Um, there haven't been very many new releases over the last couple of months. Uh, but this one comes uh, hot off the minting press from Lucky Muniero, and uh, this is the Panda Garden Medal. The first medal in a new series, uh, which is sponsored by Lucky himself. So this is a private edition, uh, low mintage Chinese art medal, and uh, it comes with the the medal, one of these little pouches, and a, a COA. There are, there's no box with this one, and uh, mostly I think they're pretty much sold out at the moment. Um, I asked for this to be sent over. Uh, quickly using EMS to show you guys the uh, the medals uh, rather than waiting for the usual three weeks for the Chinese uh, post. So uh, the set of six, there's six different types of medals and I've got all of them here to show you. Uh, I bought two sets of these medals for myself and I've sent them off for grading. They're going to be graded over at NGC with a brand new uh, panda ink, kind of slightly folksy panda label uh, on them. Um, I decided not to have early releases or first releases. It seemed a little bit uh, crazy paying all the extra money to have first releases when there's only 99 of each of these medals minted in any case. So that's where I drew the line this time in terms of grading. But uh, this is a, a, new, a new idea uh, by Lucky, and uh, it's a private edition. It's minted by the XSJ Mint. They, they are in Shanghai, um, and they work in collaboration with the Shanghai Mint, one of the official mints. I believe that the people who run the XJS Mint, um, XSJ Mint, sorry, used to uh, work with Shanghai Mint, or used to work at Shanghai Mint, are connected and they have got a, a long history at the XSJ Mint of producing very large uh, medallic art. Uh, they produced in the in the 90s a lot of very large high 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 resolution high definition metal art, bronze metal art and, and stuff like that. And uh, they've been doing a few of these different types of things with their craftsmen. Lucky gave me COA uh, number one and number two. Thank you very much, Lucky. Uh, I don't really um, collect particular COA numbers, but it's quite cool to have uh, the first and the second one. So 12 COAs, uh, six in each series. He's been selling them uh, online in his shop and also, I think, eBay as sets of six or sets of five because... Um, Five of them have a mintage here, you can see, of 99, and one of them has a mintage of 59. Um, there, there are four silver medals um, out of the 12, so in the, say, each set of six you get a 60 gram, uh, that's like just under two ounces of silver on the proof uh, silver, and then the same thing for the antique silver. The, uh, the antique silver is 59 medals, you can see here the uh, the brass uh, proof medal, and the brass proof has 99. In fact, they all have 99. Uh, you can see scallop design, quite thick, so these will need an extra deep holder at NGC. You can see how thick they are. A nice big dollop of brass. Uh, you've got a, a panda design on the obverse and the garden design on the back. The uh, I do have somewhere actually the original Panda artwork for this and you can see that this was done in the old-fashioned way using clay and engraving. Um, it wasn't done kind of photographically or with lasers like some other medals can be these days. So, and I think they've done a really good job uh, on this medal. There'll be a number of these uh, going forward um, because this one has been uh, such a great success. Number two is already being designed and in the pipeline. And I think, uh, you know, the, the, the XSJ Mint is the same mint that did the Trigos menu, uh, the Trigos medal 
uh, that you saw um, a couple of times on my channel. Uh, they did a great job with the Trigos men medal, and uh, I think they've done a great job with this one too. So, uh, and it's interesting in terms of grading that um, NGC will grade medals from the XSJ Mint exactly the same as if they were from the Shanghai Mint. I think there's a long history of the two organisations working together. So even though this is not from an official mint directly, it falls into the same kind of category um, for NGC when they do the grading. And you can see the finishes are very, very similar to some of the antique finishes you've seen from the Nanjing Mint uh, for the Nanjing Pandas. And uh, I don't know whether we're in Panda Overkill. I've been buying the ones that I like. There are more pandas coming out from uh, ANA, sponsored by the ANA, to celebrate the Denver uh, welfare of money. There are two versions of that panda coming out. One that's being marketed by Modern Coin Mart, where there's a 5,000 edition, and one that's being marketed by Panda America, where they've got two medals, each of which have 888 uh, lucky number, 888 uh, a silver one, and a tri-metallic one. So I might make a video on those as well. They're just about becoming available this week from Panda America. And uh, Modern Coin Mart should be releasing theirs as well to go with the, uh, the Denver show. But uh, so, you know, pandas are, um, as you probably gather, one of my favorite types of medals. Uh, I really like the low volume medals. I know they're not to everyone's tastes. Um, some people think, well, you know, they're medals, they're not coins, they're private, they're not official. But, you know, I just admire the artwork and, and I like them. This particular set wasn't crazily priced. Lucky did a very good job on getting this out into the market at a cost-effective price. And uh, it was a pleasure to pick them up and have them graded. And I'll put those in my Chinese medal collection, which uh, I will show you guys in a video coming up fairly soon.